Welcome to the TuckCast with a splash of bourbon presented by Tuckasegee Fly Shopping Guide Service. Located at 3 Depot Street, Bryson City and 530 West Main Street, Silva, North Carolina. Tuckasegee Fly Shopping Guide Service is your number one stop prior and after your epic fly fishing adventure in Western North Carolina. Visit tuckflyshop.com for stream flow information. Book a guided trip or even shop for your official Tuckasegee Fly Shop gear. Follow the crew on Facebook at Tuckasegee Fly Shop, Instagram at Tuck Fly Shop, and on YouTube at Tuckasegee Fly Shop. Today's episode is brought to you by Norvox. From their original 1970s prototype to the latest Legacy C in five amazing colors. Radical Red, Sunset Orange, Shamrock Green, Royal Purple, Liberty Blue. Norvice has been committed to one thing, efficiency. By adding the Norvice Auto Bobbin to your Norvice, you can tie better flies faster. For more information, visit www.nor-vice.com. Here in our Silva Studios today, we have Coach Dale Diesel Collins, Bobby the Bearded Wonder Bennett, and I'm your host, Shannon, Big Mess Messer. All right. Hello. How's everybody doing? Hello. Hello, everybody. Doing real good. Man, it always feels like when we miss an episode, like we, we don't get it in. It's like the next week I forget how to do everything on this thing. Mm. I'm out of practice. That's a sign of uh, age there, Bobby. I think it is. Yes. Getting old. Mm. Older. Yep. Just wait till the eyes get start going. Mm. They always said, oh, it's going to hit at like 45. I'm like, no, nah, it ain't no way. And then it's like, you wake, it's like you wake up and you're like, and you look at something, it's like, it's a little fuzzy. It did. It did. Well, Hello, Dale. He's quiet over there. What's going on? Mm. Beats all I've ever witnessed. You yeah, got a toothache? I know. Just see how long I could go before speaking. Uh, like, just, you know, y'all can't do this without me. Nah. Just, just talk to me. I won't talk back. What's up, Dale? How how are your, your guys' Father's Day? What did everybody get into? Uh, What did I get into? Not a whole lot. Yeah. Not much. Well, that was exciting. That was yeah. great for the podcast. I mean, it was. I mean, it didn't do anything. Bom, bom, I, mean, bom, I mean, you know, I got. The uh, price is right. I, you mean over time? You know, I got a, a you know a you know a Cowboys hoodie. You know, Did from, you from Braden a Cowboys hoodie? You didn't want to admit that. Is that what? I, oh no, I was. You know, I didn't. I didn't get like no Blackstone or nothing like that. And I got a Cowboys hoodie. Man, and, I went. Uh, yeah. And uh, you know, you know, Alex Facetimed me from West. Oh, that's cool. And. Um, from West. Look at him like slinging that and, jargon. Uh, West Y. West. 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 Yeah. And um his gift that he that he got for me showed up this week actually. And and, and I thought about bringing it, but I, I didn't. Hope it wasn't like a dozen hoppers from Big No, Street. no, 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 no. Actually was a uh it <laughs> and and when I see how much he paid for it, uh, you know, he shouldn't have done this, but it's actually a uh, it's a decent sized um uh I want to say like it's on wood, but it's like the Yellowstone National Park. Yeah, on it right there. It's it's real nicely done. Well, that's cool, actually, and and uh, totally caught me off guard with that one there. So, yeah, sweet. Yeah, so we we FaceTimed. That's good, and, man. Uh, He's uh, enjoying it, right? He is. He is. Doesn't want to come back home. That'll wear off, just because it's all new. Just wait till it gets cold. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Weather or winter out there. Yeah, that's right. When it hits man. forty below. That's right. <laughs> No, yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, we, we didn't do a whole lot. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Dale? Man, it was awesome. I have a great wife. She comes up with these fantastic gift ideas where somehow in all of it, I end up having to work. You know, so she says, hey, you know, I, I was sitting here thinking about I, I, it's expensive, so I wanted to talk to you first, but I, I want to get you a Blackstone griddle. And I hadn't really paid much. I, you know, I hadn't, we ain't even grilling. My grill's broke on the back deck. I ain't messing with it. So I was like, well, yeah, we really don't, you know. 
I'm veganish, so we don't really grill a lot, right? He's changed it. Not plant based. It's veganish. I like Vegan. veganish better. Veganish. Plant based, yeah, but you know, yeah, I'm gonna cheat sometimes, and mainly it's with like cheat. But anyway, so we uh, we go. She says it's up here at Lowe's is where I saw it. And I was like, you saw it at Lowe's? She said, yeah. So she goes up there. We go up there together, and uh, Lowe's ain't got nothing. I mean, they ain't got no black. They're sold out. And so I start looking. Everywhere in the southeast is sold out of this thing. I mean, Tractor Supply, Home Depot, all of them. If it's a place where you sell grills. So I Googled and I saw Dick's Sporting Goods had it. I was like, well, Dick's. Like, you know, Sporting Goods. Like, nobody likes to spend money. <laughs> nobody likes to spend money at Dick's, but it's like Sporting Goods. Have to. It's, it's kind of, I don't know. Well, so it said it had one in Knoxville. So. I drive to Knoxville Saturday to get this thing. Me and Bryson loaded up and went and got it. Man, this Dick's Sporting Goods Sports House is massive. It's the largest Dick's Sporting Goods in the country. They had some kind of football camp going on. They had some kind of baseball thing going on in the batting cage. It had a climbing wall in this thing. Any sports apparatus you could think of, they had. The most Yetis I've ever seen in one place in my life. But... Anyway, we lit that black stone up. It's fantastic. I love it. And I cooked, and mainly for breakfast. I wasn't too excited about it at first, but I got to thinking, I can cook a ton of pancakes at once. Yeah. ton. A ton. ton. So Sunday morning, Father's Day morning, I cooked an entire pack of bacon at one time. Bacon. With, with presses. And all my pancakes at one time. So I got to eat breakfast with my family. So And I got one of them pancake droppers. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Pancake dropper. Well, let me tell you. Yeah? That tell Cracker us. Barrel mix, mm-hmm. almost a little too thick for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Cracker Barrel pancake mix mm-hmm. is good. But the syrup's good. What? The syrup from Cracker Barrel. Yeah, what? their syrup is their good. Their syrup is good. Syrup. 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 You don't put no syrup on them pancakes. Syrup. Come on, Dale. Hey, I thought you said Sarah. Syrup. 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 <laughs> Get them headphones off, man. I don't know. How do y'all put butter on your pancakes? Yes. Or is it, yeah, yes. Butter. Used to. Yes. Not anymore. That's right. Plant based, <laughs> veganish. <laughs> I like to, I like to like cook them in the butter. So you put a little butter on the pan, and then oh, drop put, it in. I put a lot of butter in the pan. <laughs> so you fry, and you and you and you get them you edges nice bread. and crispy. You know, yeah. and crispy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how I like them. Well, no, it was a great Father's Day. I, I, Stacy enjoys getting outdoors on Mother's Day. Like you know, we float to the tuck, kids fish, people get hooked in hands. It's okay. You, you want to watch the U.S. Open on Father's I, Day? She said. She said, what you going to do tomorrow? I said, not shit. <laughs> there it is. And we... I, Earmuffs. That's, that's, <laughs> that, like, that's exactly how I said it to her as well. But that that's it. That's no ifs, ands, or buts. That's exactly what we did. There was no hiking, because we'll do that sometimes, too. On you know, It was pretty pretty weather on, was it Saturday? And Sunday it rained a little bit. But... I don't I, remember. I popped that recliner back. That's all she broke. No, it's all good, man. Yeah. So all good stuff. All good stuff. I think it's the first time I've not done anything in a long time. You was pretty excited about the blacks. Yeah. And not doing anything. He was still like buying accessories for it. The oh, they're day. still in a list. Oh, he's got a, he's got a list. I told you I'm all in. He's all I'm in. I'm gonna have me a little apron with the blackstone symbol. Yeah. <laughs> I'm w- I'm waiting for the YouTube video. Nah. Follow me for more recipes. <laughs> what did you, you say you don't want to like do the, see, baby. do the Japanese <laughs> cook thing. Oh, hibachi. Tap, 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 tap the grill and get the little choo-choo train of That's onions. That's good, man. Gotta get the volcano. <laughs> the volcano Ooh. onion, yeah. I but do it, I do have my Blackstone um, little squirt bottle of oil. Uh, mm-hmm. I got that, so too. Got the squirt bottle. Strike it, match, and a little fire trail. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the fire trucks head to Webster, we know <laughs> where they're going. I'll be down. I'll be <laughs> There'd be one less deck. In rice? Here. Have you done rice on Not it yet? Yeah, man. Yeah, Tanya's done rice on it several That's times. That's what Justin was saying. The hibachi was going to be really Yeah, good. she's done it several times. Yeah. Well, big stuff. Long, big stuff. long story short. Big stuff. Day. Big thanks, stuff. Thanks for asking, Bobby. Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah. That's all we got to talk about. So. All right. <laughs> we appreciate Norvice. Earl, Earl said we needed to put out another one. So <laughs> There it is, Earl. There it is. <laughs> there it is, <laughs> Earl. We all got projects going Hope on. Scott Johnson's doing well. I hadn't heard from Scott in a while. Yeah. So he'll call now. 
Maybe Atlanta needs more traffic. That's it. Uh, he's just waiting for them to try to bring in more pictures. He gets to find them a place to live. Hey, man. It's, it's, it's a good time to be real estate. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently so. Aver- the average right now, a house sits on the market nationally six days, according to Zillow. That's I unreal. It. Unreal. So if you're looking to sell it, now's the time. Don't know where you're going. Yeah. But, but you're going to have to buy one. So good luck. <laughs> How do you know all this? How do we know what? I mean, Dale's always, he throws out, he comes in here with this little factoid or whatever. <laughs> it's the same thing. I sent I you mean, that thing the other night about the five counties with the most I, I know, but, but Dale, just, Dale just like boom, just boom, it's just boom, boom. It's like he just sits there constantly, you know, <laughs> looking at data. He's like a numbers yeah. nerd. <laughs> That's as far from the truth as possible. Well, where do you get it from? I can't tell you. I have sources. Sources. <laughs> can't Can't cite my sources. You don't oh, have to. See you don't have to. I read. That's it. <laughs> that could be it. I got it off Facebook. I don't fix French doors. I read. Oh, dude, that thing shattered, baby. Hey, thank goodness for clear. What is that? What do you call that guy? What is that? that uh, Flex Seal. Flex Seal. Oh, you sprayed Flex Seal on? Twice. Your storm door? Twice. No, it's not a storm door. It's oh, a French, French door. door, man. You might end up regretting Flex Seal. I've already regretted that a hey, bunch in the last two weeks. Hey, listen. It, the glass is still in. Oh, it will be. I mean, it's it hold uh, up some mirrors pretty good. That's uh, it's there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, little. Mm. Braden said it hung like a gun going off. Yeah, it usually does when those get hit. Yeah, you know, I hit a baseball through the kitchen window once. Oh yeah. You My think mom he... was cooking dinner. The glass went in all all over the stove on the oh, food. Oh wow. Yeah, she wasn't happy. Mm. Me and my brother were out there. I can't mm. imagine your mom getting mad. Line drive one right through the kitchen window. I bet it scared her. <laughs> Good stuff. You think there's a chance that whoever's mowing that yard it hit a hit a round, hit a bullet? No, it was a rock. Yeah, I'm sure it was. You know, Jim Estes mowed over a pistol. No, his wife did. Really? His wife did. Oh. It fell out of her pocket. Oh. Something like that. That's <laughs> what I think what he said. Oh well, there you go. A little I mean, 22 right. pistol type yeah, boy. thing. I mean, mowing yeah. in Western North Carolina. It can be. It can be a little <laughs> sketchy out there, <laughs> folks. A little sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Boojum will get you. Boojum. Who that Boojum? That's right. Oh, man. Well, what do we got on the show today? Packs and packs. More and packs. More packs. Mm, real quick before we get into packs, this is the splash of bourbon for the day. What's the bourbon splash? I've been, you know, so Costco in certain locations, not in North Carolina, because North Carolina is no fun when it comes to alcohol. But South Carolina at the Greenville, not Spartanburg, but at Greenville Costco, they sell liquor. Yes, they do. By the gallons. Yes, they do. <laughs> it's got its own entrance. You it go does, in this yeah, way yeah. and you come out this and way. And they card everybody. They card you. They, oh, yeah. What you trying to say about Shannon? He's old. <laughs> <laughs> he said, they, they know that accessed his innards through his belly button. I, He's old. I, I bought it down there. So, but they, so one thing about Costco is they'll find, like, I've, I've heard and I have read this, Shannon, that some of their coffees are actually like Starbucks. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they'll change, they'll change providers on this from time to time. But I got to doing some research on the liquor in there. And um, I think, well, I know for a fact the bourbon that they sell there, um, and it's just like the Kirkland, mm-hmm. Kentucky blend, whatever. It's actually seventeen ninety two. Done drunk it all. So I Bought think it. that's awesome. Bought it, drank it. They it's 20 bucks. Now it wasn't a gallon, but it was a solid like liter. Yeah, yeah so th- a lot of people leaving with the Kirkland brand there. Oh yeah, I mean you've got the others to choose I from like, as well. No, no, nah, this one in, in Greenville. When I yeah, it had other ones there too. There's it, probably it, a shortage. It didn't well, have shortage of everything. It, it did have like they had some Patron. They had some. Yeah, but they had some. They had like the Wild Turkey. They had Maker's Mark. They yeah. had you know they had they had a, like three or four choices, right. but the Kirkland was. Oh, yeah. People buying the Kirkland, and they got them like this. That Kirkland tequila, I did, I did some research on that. That was a gallon of tequila. Really? That get me through the summer, I think. But it, um, it's, a, it's a reputable brand, too. I can't yeah. remember the Los Morales, or oh, 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 Agave, I don't know. Him, too. So, but, yeah. uh, no, that, that's the thing about their uh, their business model with that stuff is yeah. they, they've got it figured out. Like, how much is that hot dog? About like, 50? Like, no, I thought Nathan's? it was. I thought, no, no. The, what It's like, like. Something since, ain't it? I don't no. think it's a buck. No, they kept it at the same price. They don't because it's, it's a loss, loss leader. Google it. 
Lost leader. Well, that's my, how we find out things, right? That's how I find out stuff. I Google yeah. it. That's how I know things. But anyway, that's the bourbon tidbit. That's your bourbon. That's the splash of bourbon today. There you go. Um, big right. thanks to Earl uh, on the bourbon. He left with me. So thank you, Earl. Yeah. Well, I didn't even hear about, hear about this. Right. This is twice now that this happened. I still got that bottle I haven't brought in for anybody <laughs> to try. So. Thank you, Randy. Haven't even opened Thank it. Yeah, we know about Randy. We know about Randy. Randy. Yeah. Randy. That's hey, right. We, yeah. you know, it's just we've been so. It's tequila. Busy. It's tequila season. Del, like Dell's all about those <laughs> margaritas. Man. Margaritas. Uh, yeah. I've been hammering those too. T minus thirty nine minutes. Nothing. It's going down again. Nothing. Ain't had nothing. Zero zilch. So, yeah. So it's pack time. Not Pac Man time, but pack time. Yeah, so last, last time we, my mic working. Yeah. You talk into it. Do I need to turn your headphones up? No, I just couldn't hear myself too good. There you go. Last time we talked about um, chest packs, right? We did. What we got today? We got some of them that are hip. Lumbar. Lumbar. Are they Fanny. Call them lumbar packs. Fanny. Hip. hip. Fanny. Hip. hip. Lumbar. Yep. So we're actually talking about three different types of packs today. I guess they really are. Y'all are getting your bang for your buck. There we go. Well, it's you know it, it's it's kind of like um, indicators in or bobbers. Like lipstick on a pig, right? It's a fanny pack. It's a bobber. It's a lumbar fishing pack. So this is for fishing. What do they call it when you wear it in the front? If it's called a fanny pack, <laughs> you don't want me to answer. Just curious. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call that? I'm uh, just a thing just, in a box. Just <laughs> <laughs> thing in a bag. Man, don't get me started. Actually, that's going to be in my I've head got, all night long. Now. I actually, I got mine. I was thinking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Shannon even drew the box. I love oh, it. I was oh. thinking we need to bring Thing in a Box back. Oh, yeah, we we only did that like once or twice. Yeah, we do we need to bring Thing in a Box back. We couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I was thinking like putting an Amadou patch in there and being like, nope, that is not armadillo anus. That is a Amadou, Amadou patch. Amadou. <laughs> armadillo anus. Oh my heavens. Armadillo anus. Oh, oh man. man, I'm just thinking of those suits they were wearing in that uh, video when they did that. So I guess they call them thing packs. <laughs> thing packs <laughs> when they're in the front. <laughs> thing one, thing two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Yes, it is. Y'all uh, get on me about not doing blank for a whole day. Here we are talking about thing packs. I don't know what you're talking about. I've not been here all day. I don't, I don't know what he's either. talking about. Either, that's cool. Y'all give me this thing guy for saying a four-letter word. We're going to talk about thing packs. And it's thing funny. packs. Can you put <laughs> live bait that. in that thing pack? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> on to the Orvis chest packs. <laughs> slash hip. Okay. Notice how I did that. This is yeah. not an Orvis endorsed podcast. <laughs> 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 that must be why we didn't make the top ten. Orvis, what? What's this thing called? This is the chest slash hip pack. So we did, we somewhat touched on this on the last episode, but this one's the one that you can wear on your chest or on your hip. That's right. So it's versatile. It's versatile. Or on your thing. Well, yeah, wherever you want to wear it. It's your pack. You do what you want to with it. So it's a smaller hip pack. It's probably the smallest one of all the ones we're going to talk about. But it's still got. That fantastic tippet feature. It's got the little tippet feature. You find it there on your yeah. So retail seventy nine, seventy nine ninety nine basically. Yep. It says seventy nine on Norvis's website, but Tug Fly Shop it's going to be seventy nine ninety nine. It's seventy nine ninety nine <laughs> on yeah. their tag. Um, so you can wear it either way. You know, halfway through the day, if you're tired of it being on your hip, you can move it up to your chest or you just know, switch it. Just switch it around. Switch it. Switch it around, but you it's know, very similar to the the other chest pack. It's just a layout, little little yeah. different size on it. Yeah, the size is different. Cordura, but it, it's made out of the cordura, yeah. so you it's know, durable. One, one thing I remember, Fish Pond tried this a few years ago, and the only thing I didn't like about it was the neck, the strap around your neck. Yes, it it rubs. Yeah. So I mean, I'm I'm sure we can't confirm or deny that with the Orvis one, but. That has been I actually a, haven't put this one. Could have been so addressed. We, we, you know, it could have been addressed with some padding or something like that. We don't know. Now, there's plenty of padding here, buddy. So, but we also have some uh, neck gaiters, which could help with that. Yeah, well, you know, it is kind of a minimalist. You know, that Rock Creek chest pack from Umqua does really well, well because it's a minimalist. And same, th same thing here. Yeah. So, um, you know, especially for summer, if you know you're only going to be dry fly fishing, only taking one box and a couple of spools of tippet. Um, this is great. Uh, so, um, yeah, 
I, yeah, I mean it's it's not much different than the than the chest pack, so it's you know, the look, regular chest pack. So. Looking at it here, they've kind of copied a little thing from Uncle here with the zero sweep stuff. With the, yeah, they got yeah. the nipper nipper there. They probably have a fancy name for it too. That, sure. They've kind of had that in their packs for six years or so. So Uncle copied them. It's always kind of had that garage area. It's I think it, they've I always called they it, the call it the garage. I area. think they call it the garage. The garage area in they the thing it, pack. It's called the garage. Wow. Yeah. Well, they don't start calling it the barn. Hey, so the tip it whip it. I forgot that's the name of the thing. You the, ain't never heard of putting the mule in the barn. <laughs> the tip it whip it. Devo. Back to tip <laughs> it. We're going to talk about the tip it whip it. The Devo. Whip it. Whip it real good. So, yeah. is yeah. that really what they call that's it? That's what the tip it, it whip is it. called. The tip it whip it. I did not know that. It's the I wasn't tip it whip it. Last time, man. No. I did not know that. That's funny. Now, the cool thing about this pack. I'm, tip it, whip it in the fanny pack. You, Shannon, you got to be thinking, how in the hell does Dale know so much about this pack? Because it's called, an, I, it's yeah. called an iPad. He's got the <laughs> iPad right He has the there. iPad right there. I have so, a Roadcaster Pro. Bobby has Switcher going. What, what is interesting about this pack um, that I bet none of you knew is that this pack is compatible with the bug out backpacks. I didn't know that. Ooh. I guess I need to flash the pictures up of these. Yeah, let's yeah. see that bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's a lot sexier so than So that's three. where it really makes it a system. Yes. Uh, with that, so you, if you find that uh, you need like this for you know for some small excursions, but yet you may do some longer expeditions, then com uh, combine it with the bug out pack, and you are set for that uh, outing. You know who doesn't have a chest pack? Patagonia. My thoughts on Patagonia. Bye, Bye Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> No chest pack, no mm. service. Mm. Yeah. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. So yeah, it's a cool little pack, but you can see in that photo how that's going to wrap around your neck. Um, Shoulder. Yeah, it's like it goes on the back of your neck and then just comes down yeah. almost like a necklace, and then you got a strap that goes around like your chest area. But if you wear it on your hip, though, that's the thing. It goes across your shoulder if you wear it on – you see how it's on your shoulder. Yeah, right it's there. like every other hip pack that yeah. has that extra strap to help carry the load. That's so. what'll that's what'll rub if if you're a chubby oh. feller like me. <laughs> so the next one, I think we're done with this one. It just helps us from getting Moving washed away right in the water. Along. Moving right along. <laughs> the next one is the Orvis Guide hip pack. So this one's quite substantially large. Large. I don't know. Did they give you like cubic inches or centimeters? Yeah, I think in it was thirty three on the last on one. the little one. So this one's gonna be bigger than that one. Um, and oh, it, three liters. Three liters. So yeah. we're up to three liters. And remember, if you want, man, you get them three liter sodas. Yes, I do. I remember. I mean, that cap was like that big. Yeah. New York has done screwed the pooch on this. Three liters have been canceled. Have you? Man. When was the last time you saw three liters in a grocery store? I do remember the three liters, man. Doesn't it shock you though that you could get three liters in that pack? It surprises me to think about how big it's a three. Just the yeah, way it's because liters, it, man. Get, you know, huge. if you do it via liquid. Oh, there's my six o'clock call. <laughs> Is that Marvin? No, it's not. No, I see. You did it last week. That shouldn't be mine. Oh, it's, yeah, it is. Here. Is it really? Yeah. Uh -oh. I don't know. Uh oh. Uh, so, anyways, Orvis. three liters. That's that's incredible. Yeah. yeah. So, the Orvis, it just says chest pack. Is it guide chest pack? This is the guide hip pack. Oh, we're on hip, hip. packs. <laughs> hip. <laughs> we're not on chest packs no Strike more. That, that was last time. That was last time. The hip pack. But you can see it's got like the side compartments on the waist strap. That's different, you know, where you can tuck, you know, maybe some tippet or. Your car keys. Does, or, does this qualify you for a guide license? Yeah. You see that water bottle holder too? You know, it's got mm. a nice water bottle holder on the side. So it's got the nice strap. The strap's different that it's got all the attachment points and the little zipper area on the strap. So I will say that's kind of a fish pond thing too. I would never, ever trust any of these bottle holders with a $30 Yeti. Just saying, it's pictured here with the, the Yeti. I, I just, I, I don't even trust these bottle holders with a fifteen dollar Nalgene. Mine's done great on my Has fish pond. I've, I've lost, never lost a water bottle. I've lost Nalgene's. It's just frustrating. Never lost one. You've Again, lost reels and stuff too, though, right? Cordura. No, I, I find them later. <laughs> it's like two years later. That's, that's like a savings bank for reels <laughs> and packs. Oh, uh, uh, nine liters here, boys. What? Nine, nine liters. Oh, okay. That's just way too much. So, so three, three liter. Drinks. That's just way too much. So the little one was three liters, mm -hmm. and this one's nine liters. That is big. Yes, yeah, because you're a guide. It's just way too uh, much. Man. Retails one forty nine. Way too much. Ninety nine. 
Too big. It's yes and no. I mean, if you had, if you had a camera that day and mm-hmm. and you're fishing stuff, I could see Think where about it'd that be first day kit you tell everybody to take. Yeah. That's right. And that bear spray, man. The bears have been super bear, active this year. I know. Do you see that, man? Man, they're like having to close down stuff everywhere. I know. They're munching. Of, yeah. They are hungry. Like Pac Man. They've bit right. a couple people, been waka, bit. Waka, 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 waka. So, um, anyways. Yeah. Um, I like this pack. I'm almost tempted to go back to a hip pack mm. from a sling. Mm. I don't know why. Mm. You know, I, I like the chest, the, the strap features here. It's got kind of the tool caddy. Yeah, on the strap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. To me, and I just don't have the shape, you know, the body shape. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I you mean, can't if wear you, look, a fanny pack. you look at Jarrett, I mean, those guys, they can pull it off. You know, the lumbar. <laughs> pi- I mean, they do, and they do. Are you trying to the, say, Bobby, don't go to it? No, what? I'm That's saying I can't like. pull it off. Don't be offended I, because it has a smaller front zippered pocket with internal features. I cannot don't, don't pull it off. There. And I, I just, <laughs> you know, if you look at the, our pack sales, um, you know, that's our least sold yeah, pack is, yeah, is a, is a hip, well. hip pack. You think that's because people go deep and I, they, I, they, they get I, wet? Here, that is one of the things you hear is the fact that they're only water resistant but not waterproof. Which we'll get into waterproof packs. That's a whole well, it's a whole, it's a whole It's a whole different animal. And, and this pack, to me, if you're going to use it, this pack is good for your small creeks, things you know, small streams, creeks, things like that. Yeah. You know, if you're you're fishing tailwaters on a regular basis and you're going to have fluctuation in water flows, I think, you know, for us here, that takes, you know, that pack number of sales down. Yeah. Where you see, if you see the videos from a lot of those folks out west, they do use a lot of hip packs. Well, you yeah. think about it. It's more walking, of a western thing. If you're qu- walking across the meadow mm-hmm. from the ranch to the water on the Lamar, mm-hmm. I mean, you're covering a mile there and – yeah, Lamar, you ain't gonna be waist deep in Lamar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You see, it's more. Yeah. It seems to be Unless more of a western, western you. type pack for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting conversation. I do really like that net holder. That's sexy. It's got a net holder in the straps. Not a lot of hip packs do that. Fanny pack. Yep. Thing pack. So uh, the next one, we're gonna skip over to fish pond now, Sweet. and we're gonna talk about their switchback and their switchback pro. So yep. two separate. Yes. Packs. The original is the Switchback. I think it was so popular that they made a Pro Series, which I think would be called kind of the Guide Series also, um, if you want to call it that. So I just, It's just a bigger agree. version, a little different. It does have the magnetic pocket, things like that. So Dale can give us all the specs here once he gets into Fish Pond. You know, uh, we, that pack, I think at first we under-ordered. Yeah, we're I was skeptical. To, we, you know, we were, we were skeptical, yeah. and um, you know, Jack – you know, purchased one and spoke real highly of it. And Jack would wear it without the uh, shoulder strap because you can move the shoulder strap. You can move it to the right shoulder, left shoulder, or you can wear it without the shoulder strap. But Jack really liked it, and they hadn't come out with a larger one yet uh, there. But the belt on this one here is a much wider belt, and the, and the belt has it's kind a, of a back brace. It's similar to a back brace style, and it has your net slot in that particular belt. You can buy the belt by itself. Or you can go ahead and get it as the uh, switchback system, and, and you got about thirty bucks difference in price, and you get the pack with it as as well. And we've always cared. We found that we oh, we sold the belts, but by far the systems mm-hmm. are at, outsell. Well, what's really cool about it is you can buy an extra pack and have two packs. Yes. Or you can buy a water bottle holder and well, have a water yes. bottle holder. You and know, one way Jack used it is, um, and this is kind of a sneaky good use too. That's right. Other other that. companies' packs, so. You could put that Yeti submersible pack mm-hmm. on this, and Jack had a Smith fly pack, yes. I think, and yeah. he, he kept his camera in that. So, um, yeah, it is a system, but it, it can work with other systems yeah. there as well. Yeah. Um, in the way, you talked about bear spray earlier, and if you think about the bear spray we sell, and it's got the holster that mm-hmm. goes across the belt, yeah. you know, this would be one of those things where, you know, you could slide that uh, over that belt slot onto that system there and it would work and instead of trying to put that on your your belt belt is what i'm trying to say in not too many words i got just got the velcro it. patch for the fly dock this one picture's even got a little pie pod on there they got the pie oh, pod yeah. on their belt it's totally customizable put a lot of cigarettes in that thing yeah <laughs> put a couple packs how yeah. many liters is it <laughs> um let's see the pie pod the pie pod no, is uh, a quart um <laughs> depending on which one you get yeah what's the what's the size what on the pro it? let's see here 
Uh, this proprietary. Oh, five liter. Five liters. Waiter so. belt with net slot, five liter, tacky dock, shoulder strap. And then the regular one. Can you flip over yep. to that one? What's the regular one's size? And we also need prices. So, uh, one fifty nine ninety five there on the pro. On the pro. Now, if you're not a pro, it's only going to cost you ninety nine ninety five, yep. which is a great value. It's great not, value for what you get. It's not like that pro air at Lowe's that's free. You know, <laughs> speaking of that, I kept saying that. It showed up on my phone, man, one of the dang ads. <laughs> Lowe's yeah, Pro. Ask I'm not home, to track. Dude. I did. It don't matter. By the way, if you're listening, we are not tracking you. That is correct. We just know Scott's in traffic because that's when he listens. <laughs> he calls us and tells us. Yes, that is correct. Um, let's see. Two liter pack. Two liter. Yep. So we went from five, five on the pro to two on yep. the. Yep. So if you're not a if you're not a guide, then you don't need that three extra. What you could do is buy the pro system and then get the little pack on the other side for those days where you want to carry your sure. first aid kit or camera or rain jacket or mm-hmm. sandwich. Like so in the, on the guide features it said ambidextrous belt system, da, 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 da. Mm. but on the on the like non guide it says pack can be configured on the left or right side there you go like we're not we're it's, it's not pro so we're going to take out the big word ambidextrous <laughs> that's what makes it pro is they went to the dang what do they call it i, I don't know you're talking thesaurus <laughs> thesaurus <laughs> it like came to me slow that's my covid brain talking thesaurus thesaurus <laughs> yes but well thought out people really like that one Yes. Really well, well and it. it's I, I think it just comes down to the fish pond. Fish pond designs their packs to work with all their accessories. Yes. So it's like everything just fits well with it when you kind of just so well, it's almost like going to Apple. Like when you go to Apple, if you go all in on Apple and get everything, it all yeah. just works together. And it's kind of like that with fish pond, yes. I feel like. Agreed. They um I feel like the entire industry is chasing fish pond on packs. Yeah. I think they're pulling features here and there. Uh, and, and so except for the tip it whip it. I, 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 you know, Fish Pond was kind of, they kind of already had that in a few things. Yeah, but it wasn't uh, built they didn't in. They have that recess. Yeah. yeah, that's that's um, that's new. I like the tip of it. Yeah, I, I think I think the industry, cha- Fish Pond just, they put a lot of thought in their products. So, I, yeah. I, I do appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Just like that hat you're wearing. Any other questions? Uh, it's, um. Any other big things to talk about with Fish Pond? You know, on, on, on the, yeah. on the Pro Series, it does incorporate the magnetic flint. Front closure. Yes, for those people um, that uh, like the what was the brand that had that? Um, William Joseph. William Joseph. It yeah. does, in, does incorporate that. It yep. does. Mm-hmm. It's the, it does. the front. The front. Pouch. You pull it's it. Magnetic. It's not zip. It's magnetic. Yeah. And on the no, non-pro two main zippered pockets. No, it's got the magnetic one on the front. Okay. Hundred percent guarantee. You. Yeah. Which one? The pro or this? The pro. One? The pro. Let me see here. The pro. The pro's has got it. the magnet. I played with. Where it. do you learn this, Shannon? How do you By know sell them. It also the pro also comes with that little tacky thing. Y'all sell them before I get a chance to sell. Yeah, them. And it, it comes, comes with, with the little tacky, tacky station. That's thing. new. That is the fly dock. That is the yeah, fly, the fly dock, dock, which is nice. IFTD award winning. Mm-hmm. That's switchback nice. pros after. Very nice. Uh, or not the pro, but the regular switchback. I told you, I always got a magnetic drop down. There it is. I See, told you. there it is. Page. But uh, that oh. work that workstation is fantastic. That is a key signature feature of all of Fish Ponds packs is that workstation that folds out. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Next up. We just did a mic drop on that one. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Everybody was like, mm, Dale workstation. Got, Dale got shut down on Workstation. The next, the next one, you might as well go ahead and Google Umqua. 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 Get some Umqua going. But you know, people are very loyal to pack companies. They are. They tend, it's just like a rod in a lot of cases. Because they got all the accessories that already tie in with them. I don't think it's always accessories. I think they're just... There's a certain well, it's the look and stuff. I yes. think kind of goes with it. Mm-hmm. The way they fit. Yeah, there's a lot of that too. That's why it's important to put these packs on when you visit us. Because apparently, if your body type's not right, according to Shannon, <laughs> I never heard that. Well, I mean, you think about a belt. Hey, some man. people have dicky do disease. Some people don't. <laughs> I mean, we you, talk about sporting goods do, again. Do, do you do you see Santa Claus wearing a fanny pack, or he's got it strapped over his shoulder? Man. I mean, I mean, come on. Man. Some people ain't seen thing in a box in years. Oh man! So the next pack is brought to you by Umqua. Umqua. It's the Umqua Ledges ZS twos, and I think there's two sizes of those. If I remember right, I think it's a 500 and a 650 or something like that. A um, couple different colors. You got that camo, and then like the it's like an olive. I don't know what they. I don't olive. remember. 
Is it Olive? Yeah. yeah. I couldn't remember the exact name they have. So um, these things, especially that 650, that thing's big. I'm really interested to see how many liters it is, if it tells us that. Because I don't know it off the top of my head. Uncle don't really want to sell these because they don't put no info on here about them. Well, we won't know how big it is. It's big. Let me go. Hold on a second. I bet you can throw a three liter. We don't have any, do we? I've got right right over here. Do we have one of those? Right over here. I thought we'd sold that one. Heck yeah. Right over here. Bring that on camera, Dale. Let's make it live. It's a big pack. It is a big pack, especially when you kind of expand it out. I mean, and this is what's the the 500, not the 650. And what they, what they have done too, with their Molly system is they've, they've got their accessories that you can put in several locations on it. You can put the water bottle holder on the bottom if you want to. And, um, that they, that they make. It does come with it. It yes. comes with the water bottle. Huh? Mm-hmm. What's the price on that bad boy? Oh, uh, for the six fifty is one twenty nine. One twenty nine, and you get a water bottle holder. Like it's a feature rich, real deal. Sure. Yes, I, I do like how wide the like the belt is. The belt is wide, and it's also padded. It's just got a good like yeah. good half inch of uh, padding on that right there. So if you cinch that belt down pretty it tight, is, it is very comfy. Mm-hmm. I will say yes. Um, it's got a fly dock up here. Mm. Yeah, it's got it's a not trademarked as a fly dock. Don't say that too fast. Um, zero sweep technology. Yeah, let's see. It's Cordura. Let's see if we got a liter. What? How many liters it is? Liters. Mm. Or it's got the cord tippet holder. Do do do. I know right. Do, 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 Twenty nine ounces. Dimensions eleven. By 10. 29 ounces. Oh, so that's like almost two liters. <laughs> so the 50 it's 650 cubic. Oh, there you go. Doing it by inches. So, so they're doing it by cubic inches. Yeah, or uh, I, I, yeah. So and then 11 liters. It says slash 11 liters. Yeah, I knew that 650 was like the biggest it's one. Big. Man, that it's thing big. is huge. It's big. It's, it's 420D ballistic nylon. There you go. I mean, it stop bullets or like what's that mean? Ballistic nylon. It means it's very tough. Man, why do they call it Molly webbing? Like, yeah, who had, like every, every person it. named Molly. No, I'm sure that it, there's trademarking on on that. Google it. It'll probably tell you. I bet Molly stands for something. I bet M-O-L-L-Y. How's it spelled? Is it I-E? I don't even know how that's spelled, the Molly stuff. They don't They don't call it Molly. Probably because they don't have to pay for the, the rights to use it. But it's the similar technology, of course. Yeah. But then, but they've done a smart. No, it is M O L L E. Okay, so it's E. Mm-hmm. I couldn't it's remember if it was an I-E acronym. E. That's what I'm saying. Modular M-O- organization. Oh yeah, because it did come from military. It is an acronym. Yeah, I guarantee it's something like that. That's right. We should know that, but we don't. Just comment below. Let the us guide know. Guide favorite, it says. Guide favorite. I I think once again, in certain places, it really is. It looks good. Yeah. So those are the ones we picked for this episode to go through. A few options there. If you're looking for a hip pack, that lumbar has a pack, net fanny slot pack. as well, correct, Dale? Yeah, it does it's have a got a net, net slot as well. I, you know, I would say come by. You can look at these on the web store. They're all online too. But you need to you need to come in the shop and put your hands on them. Make sure it fits your body type. <laughs> but open them up. I mean, these these. These companies are picky about what they put online about these things, so they don't—they're not going to list every feature. But yeah, well, some of them have so many dang pockets, you can't list all of them. Yeah, like, you, you can't. But the other thing you have to consider is depending on what type fly boxes you're using, some will fit in another pack yep. better than another one, and yep, yep, yep. That comes down to you. That comes down to you know the way you want to organize it. You know, where when you reach, where do you want something to be? And if it's not a spot for it, then it's not for you. See, there's a tippet holder right there. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't know that unless you were just playing with it. Yeah. It's not as good as the tip it, whip it still. Tip it, whip it. That's just fun to say. It is. Tip it, whip it. That's it. Need a little bit of Devo action going on. What is Devo? You don't know Devo? I don't know if I know it. Maybe you once you tell me, I might be like, It's oh, a okay. band. Oh, oh, definitely no. Devo. I don't and, know too many band names. I know I, that people listen, they Shazam. know who Devo is. I was is. about to say, if, if I heard yeah. the song, maybe I'd be like, oh, yeah, I know this song. But whip I it real don't. good. Oh, Okay, yeah, I know that Crack song. Crack that whip. <laughs> Keep going, Shane. Whip it. 
whip it real good. So that's Devo? Yeah, anyway, you, wanna, you must whip it. <laughs> <laughs> First time I seen them was an American bandstand. They, looked, they had those um, plastic uh, flower pots on their heads. Oh, uh, You must whip it. <laughs> Sorry for all the wrecks we just caused out there, but uh, you must whip it. Well, if y'all have questions about packs, give us a call. You know, obviously, we'll help you as best we can. Come in. You know, we can't. It's so hard for us to remember all the specs on packs and bags and rods, and that's what good old computers for. We can pull up all our dealer that's websites what are for. and uh, get all the specs if you need to know all that stuff. And that's like, why you pick them up and you touch them. And that's you put what I'm saying. And like, like Dale said, man, come check them out. I told, check I told, them out. I told baby. Aiden. I said, here's this catalog. There's your homework. <laughs> Start learning them. You must read it. <laughs> hey, you, you know, um, yeah, new What's faces, it? new faces around the shop here as we kind of wind out of this. Uh, That's right. But uh, you know, I guess over the last few, we've done a few episodes since we've uh, brought Adam and Andrew on board. Adam, uh, you'll catch him down in the Bryson City location quite often. Um, he's doing a fantastic job down there for us. So super excited. Um, and then we've got Anna, Jordan, and Aiden Carpenter here as well. So. Um, really excited, you know. If you if you call the shop and you hear a girl answer the phone, don't think you called the wrong number because she answered the phone. Correct. Absolutely. But they they are definitely going to be able to help you and get you pointing the right direction if you give us a call. So, hey, but Jimmy, really excited to have uh, some some new faces around here. So, yeah, we'll have we'll have to have some have them on like cycling through. Yes, yeah, we will. I think it'd be good. Talk Absolutely. to them. Absolutely. If you've been in the Bryson City shop, Adam is just totally taking that as his own down there. Yeah. And then a tremendous, great. tremendous job, job with the shop down there. Looks really good. Um, Dale's going to do a fishing report. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah that's right. Because it's brought to you by Norva. Norva. Tie better flies faster. Efficient. Any fish. Fish. You know, efficiently. If there would be a NASCAR driver sponsored by Norvice, who do you think it would be, Shannon? Mm, let's see. Would it be uh, maybe as somebody who's not driving no more? It's possible. Yeah. Mm, could it be someone who's from uh, South Boston, Virginia? Oh, he is, isn't he? Mm, he likes to squirrel hunt. Yeah, I forgot it's South Boston. I mean, he likes to farm a little bit too. Skid steers. He likes to talk about skid steers. Especially from Carolina Cat, oh Carolina God. Tractor. I got their, got nice, their logo man. in the screen with you. Nice I job. tell you, man. wonder who that would be. I, you know, I want to go with Ward Burton. So we'll, have to, we'll have to reach out to Ward and see if he can Ward Burton. come on and help us out. I think we get Ward Burton on one of our podcasts I and give a fishing report. I think we might have to do a fishing report with Ward Burton. I wonder what, wonder what so would happen if somebody high-holed Ward Burton. <laughs> and he wouldn't throw his helmet. He'd throw his gloves. But that helmet fits. So he wouldn't that helmet fits. But I wonder what he would do if somebody high hold him. Mm. He might bump him or mm. rub him. Mm. Rubbing's right. We'll have to ask him. We'll just have to ask him. So we can get him on here. We'll see if we can pull that off. So, fishing report. Um, yeah. You know, it got to 52 degrees in my house last night. It was 51.6, I think, at mine. Oh, Mr. Weatherman over here. Last, that is right. Mr. Weatherman over here. The last cool front. Yes. I saw 49 at my house. Yeah. You did? Did you feel it? Oh yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. Said, were open, you buddy. It. said you seen it. Oh, it was yeah. It was on the yeah, weather. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, fishing is is fantastic. Uh, mornings and evenings, you know, just skip the midday. Skip the midday. Go hit the brewery unless you're unless you're bass fishing. With the, even even the high sun bass fishing ain't gonna be too good during the high sun. But um, you know, we just got we just got over a little rain that we needed. Um, that was really good. Uh, but you know that that left a little humidity sticking around, and um, you know the wind's gonna blow. And we'll have another front come in at the end of the week, bringing those evening and afternoon thunderstorms. But I love that pattern. You know, when it's you get into that, it, it is a little muggy is the only side effect, but it keeps everything a little cooler when you get those afternoon pop-up thunderstorms. So it felt pretty good today. Today is awesome. Today out. felt really good today. Yeah, the humidity is really low. You know, we've had it's some crazy. hot days. There were some folks in here from Houston, and they're, they're loving it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they always <laughs> say that to us, but by our standards, it's hot. And yeah. that's what we're talking about. We're not comparing it to what's going on anywhere yeah. else. Yeah. But here, if you're from Orlando, climate, it feels great here. I'm sure, but for you know, for us, we're like, nah, it's well, a little I mean, too like much. Houston, yeah. But we need the rain. Uh, it was nice to get some rain. You know, the streams could really use that water. And terrestrials are full on. 
I mean, it is full on terrestrial season. Your beetles, ants, worms, they're 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 kicking. And you know, play that if you're on the river, on, on the creek. I mean, when uh, when one of these these storms hits, keep fishing and just change over to a terrestrial and watch what happens. Yes, it's, yep. it's a lot of fun. And, and kudos to the to the guests that are willing to you know meet Jared at six o'clock in the morning. Hey, yeah, I well, mean, because those trips are producing these these guys you know, Sunday, these they, guys Sunday. Mm-hmm. Fished right through the rain, pouring rain on Father's Day. Yes. Uh, so uh, that was that was great to see those guys get out there and battle it, and the water stayed in great conditions. Um, but, yeah, you know, dry droppers, definitely. Uh, don't Dry droppers, man, go yellow. Don't don't nymph right now if you can help it. You know, just just go out there and enjoy the season of dry fly fishing. That's it, top water action. Because come, come November, that stuff slows down. So – uh, really get out there and enjoy it. It'll make you a better angler. This, this is also a great time to come fish our private stretch of water because it's fishing fantastic. It right really now. is. So if you're wanting to get on that, give us a call. We get you out there. Mm-hmm. One of the guys. I like I like using them little like eighteen, it's like little size eighteens and twenty reaper midges, little dry fly man. Yeah, those fish. It's great. Yeah, they explode on that thing. Do you put something else with it so you can see it? Uh, usually with the guest, yes, but for me, no. Yeah, you yeah. just look for the eat. Kind of have I can idea. actually see it. Can you actually see? Yeah, it? Yeah, you can actually. The, the design of that fly has got a little bit of crystal flash. Is is the wing is just and it's, it's just enough that it just really, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, it it does. And there's something to be said about small dries. Yeah, they can be effective. And this, if you want to fish, you know, dries, you ha- this you need to go small, and nothing small has ever been called ineffective. Le- I'm just lengthen your leader. Yeah. And you might be surprised at what could happen. You may go from not catching fish to getting on fish. There you go. That's the guide tip of the week. I mean, it right really there. is. I mean, Preston is, has done a really good job of getting dialed in on that, like up in Deep Creek and stuff, going longer. You know, he was sight stuff. fishing on Deep Creek uh, there. I guess it was Sunday. Um, but, you know, he, he was telling me about that trip. He said, you know, everything just came together. Every fish they saw, they had to target a different way. So they studied how that fish was behaving and, you know, adapted to what they were doing and, and rigged up. You know, just let's take five minutes and re-rig, switch everything up and go after it. And it, it worked That's out cool. great. Yeah. Makes Fantastic. it fun. Yeah, well, it, that is. And it's fun for the guide, too, but because it's, it is like a chess match. It's problem solving. Mm-hmm. It's adapting and overcoming. But you can learn a lot by just observing that fish, though. Yes. And it can pay dividends not only then instantly, but later down the road for you. You know, you're back in that situation, and you start to think about that for sure. All right. Yeah, breaking news here. I don't know what the breaking news. Bobby's is. writing. College World Series, man. Ooh, bye bye. It's all Tennessee. about it's all about zero and two in a barbecue. It's about zero and two in a barbecue. Um, what's in next a, week? Let's see. Zero and two in the barbecue. Let's see. Tennessee was zero and two. Arizona was 0 and 2. You know, UVA, UVA, Mississippi State, uh, you know, you know, they lost, uh, you know. So uh NC State is looking pretty good right now. Yeah. 2 and 0. How, how yeah, about that man. venture for Virginia last night, you Mississippi know, State 2 and 0. You were you were working, but Virginia last yeah. night. <coughs> this dude pitched 8 and a third and five more outs. They in they in the clubhouse. Yes. Five more outs with a 4-0 lead. Right. Gives up his first hit of the game. I think it was his first hit and it was a two-run shot. Yeah. And they decided to pull him. They should have left him, I think. I mean, Hines, that's the hard part. We can sit here and play armchair quarterback. But, daggone, it changed the game. Yeah. Mississippi State went on to win it. And it just – it was gut-wrenching to watch if, if you're a ACC fan, which yeah. I was hoping Virginia would win. But, um, yeah, it's uh, baseball. They just have to come back through the loser's bracket. And it's definitely plausible. Oh, sure. You know. You just you want to be two and zero, oh, it gives you such a great advantage when mm-hmm. it, you get a chance to rest your arms, because yeah. TD Ameritrade Paul Park out there is all about pitching. Yeah, but I have to say the ball is jumping off the bat a little bit better this year uh, through the regionals and super regionals. But college baseball, what a great thing to watch! Mm-hmm. If you've never watched college World Series, turn it on, watch a game. It's great. I mean, it's yeah. it's great. So I'd love to get out there one day to Omaha and and experience that in person. One of the things I certainly would like to do. Let's do it. I need to go. Let's buy do tickets. It. Let's do yeah. it. Let's I've do got it. one of the T-shirts from the Rosenblatt uh, the last year <laughs> where they played at Rosenblatt, the last year of the stadium before they moved into TD Ameritrade. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Spears is out there and picked that up for me. Yeah, um, yeah cool. it's got that, man. 
always a fun thing to see. Very nice. Very good. Nice. Good. Well, hey, uh, Bobby's going to plug, give us a little plug here for something coming up. In maybe two weeks. I guess it'd be two weeks, right? Just after the fourth. What? Is it about? Yeah, we're less than two weeks to the fourth, aren't we? Yes. yes. Almost to the day. So be be listening to that episode after the fourth. We got uh, We got a big announcement that we're going to. The first, the first show of July. Big the, the first show of July. We got a big announcement. We're gonna be throwing out there to everyone. Shannon's looking puzzled. He's in on it. He just doesn't know it. Oh, when's the fourth? It's on a Sunday this year, which is it's on the fourth, ain't it? That, that's <laughs> gotcha. Fourth, fourth on the fourth. Gotcha. The fourth is on the fifth this year. So uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, we're excited to to let everybody know what we got oh, yeah. coming down the pipe. Oh, so that it'll be. Uh, Little plug here just to get you get you ready. Get ready. Get so. you what was it T.O. said? Get your popcorn ready. Get your popcorn. Get your popcorn ready. So after he said get his popcorn ready, he went home. You better put on your goggles. Put on your goggles. That's a Steve Smith. That's blood uh, guts. But, hey, he could back it up though. <laughs> he did that. He, he backed it up. T.O. didn't. He was up there in his driveway doing sit ups. He got a <laughs> ring though, didn't he? Uh no, I he didn't. He did with the he, Niners, I thought. I think he got one with the Niners. I don't think so. I don't think he was playing with them when they won. I don't them. think he was either. Did he took? You know, at at, at his Davis early part of his career, he took some shots. Man, he went across the middle and was fierce. I think his best chance was when he was with the Eagles. Unfortunately, and they lost. No yeah. Super Bowl. They wins lost. The show. They yeah. lost. He was pretty close with the Niners in ninety seven. Ninety seven. Yeah. McNabb, you know, and then he was. Uh, him and McNabb had a falling out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, yeah. First show of July. Be listening. Well, that's yeah. exciting. Absolutely. That's exciting. Surprise me. <laughs> that ain't hard to do. That's it. All right. So Well, good show, boys. Next next show, uh, you know, we'll go into the surprise. Thing yeah. in a box. Uh, is it the next show? If we do one next week, it, it'll be two shows from now. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, right now we're kind of been we'll on try, that two we'll, weeks. We need to try to do one next yeah, week. Yeah, and, we, and we apologize. We've just been so busy. A lot going on. A lot going on, and, and uh, I think that all come together here in a couple of weeks. You'll understand why that is. And uh, certainly appreciate everybody who's been listening. Coming by the shop and just popping in and picking up a T-shirt and a hat. And if you want to support the show, be sure to go to – what's that website, Dale? Tuckflyshop.com. You can pick up your officially oh logo. Yeah, Fly Shop USA. Yeah, yeah don't forget Fly too. Shop USA. You can pick up that officially logoed, uh, you know, Tuck CG Fly Shop shirt or hat or decal. We can get those sent out to you. Absolutely. We got them. We got a great selection of logo gear for you folks. Well, good deal, gentlemen. I'm starting to get a little bit of hungry. Well, well, thank, let's go eat. Uh, thank you. A special thank you to Norvice for making this episode possible. To learn more about the Norvice fly tying system, visit www.norvice.com or visit them on YouTube at Norvice and see the Norvice in action. You folks have a great evening out there. We'll catch you next time. That wraps up another exciting and informative episode of the TuckCast with a splash of bourbon presented by Tuckasegee Fly Shop and Guide Service located at 3 Depot Street, Bryson City, North Carolina and 530 West Main Street, Silva, North Carolina. Be sure to visit www.tuckflyshop.com for stream flow information, book a guided trip, or even shop for your favorite Tuckasegee Fly Shop gear. Follow the crew on Facebook at Tuckasegee Fly Shop, Instagram at Tuck Fly Shop, and on YouTube at Tuckasegee Fly Shop. If you have a question or comment, feel free to send those to info at tuckflyshop.com or give us a call 1-828-488-3333. For Coach Dell Diesel Collins, Bobby the Bearded Wonder Bennett, I'm Shannon, Big Mess Messer. We'll catch you next week. Be sure to catch a few fish out there, won't you? Y'all take care.